So in this case, we are going to consider a typical question, which is uh, actually a mixed question from what we referred to on our from our previous classes. Remember, we managed to work out uh, the basics of our timeline from where there are changes in interest rate or where we can have changes which do happen according to the withdrawals or there can be deposits along the way. So this is a mixed question which we want to see uh, how these can be combined together. So we are given that uh, Brenda deposits 5,500 into a savings account. So there is a deposit of 5,500 which is according to our information uh, that's our principal, all right, which is uh, 5,500. So I want us to understand this question that we are given. They said five years later, along the period of saving, five years later, five years later, 4,000 is added 4,000 rent is added to the savings. That's a deposit. Remember, a deposit positive. Something that is being added. So Brenda deposited 4,000 later on, five years. All right, so let's just rave it here. So that's five years uh, later. Five years later, we had got a positive. Uh, 4,000 into the savings account. So it was a positive. Then, okay, there is no other effect. Remember our previous question, there was also a withdrawal. It can happen like that. Um, no problem. So they said the interest rate for the first three years is now about the interest. As the interest can be affected along the way Maybe for the first three years, then the other years. So we're now about interest. First three years. All right. So for the first three years, we are given that our interest is 14%. Uh, the interest rate was 14%. Uh, so it was 14% per annum, uh, which is compounded semi annually our compounding there is going to be two two times a year thereafter after the first three years thereafter after this there was an effect the interest rate changes to 12 percent that's a decrease from 14 to 12 that's a decrease all right per annum compounded monthly so our interest rate is now 12 percent Per annum, compounded monthly, meaning to say 12 times a year, as we've got 12 months in a year. Calculate the future value of the savings at the end of the seventh year, meaning to say along the way, the number of years is supposed to be seven of everything that is happening here. So let's try to have our timeline because yeah, guys, there are a lot of things that happened. So the timeline is the best way to attempt uh, this question. So subdividing uh, this into seven years. All right, that's at zero there. So we're going to have T0, T1. Uh, that's T2, three. All right, uh, this is four. This is going to be five. Uh, that's going to be six. And that's our seven. So this is what we have. Seven Yes, the seventh year, the period along is for seven years. That is the one that we are given there, the whole period. So analyze accordingly. Let's start with the interests. First three years, it's what? 14% per annum. For first three years, that is one, two, three. These three years that we have here, these three years. When n is equal to three, for that 
the interest was being taken as what? Uh, we had a condition where our interest was what? Uh, 14% per annum, no problem. I'm going to talk about that later on. Then they said, after, they after, they after, they after, meaning to say the remaining of the period, we are not having any effect uh, that we are going to have only the 12%. So meaning to say the rest of these years, they were being affected for these years that we are talking about, which is uh, out of seven years, one, two, three, four. For these four years, we are having our interest as what? Our interest rate is 12% per annum, which is compounded what? Monthly, but we shall see what happened uh, with uh, the deposit that happened here, because there's a deposit, remember, of what? 4,000. So this is it. This is it. Let's analyze now our deposit. Because three years, everything is fine. Three years. All right? You have an interest. Nothing happened at the end of three years. What changed was the rate at which that money was increasing the interest rate. It is now at 12%. So when we are at this period, the interest is changed. So meaning to say, uh, the third year, meaning to say for this fourth year, the fifth year, we are at 12%. But in within that, the fourth year to the fifth year, there was five years later a deposit there. Five years later, the fifth year. So remember, that's one, two, three, four, Five. So the fifth year here, there was a deposit of what? 5,000. So this affects, all right, uh, that's 4,000. Sorry for that. This is 4,000 for this fifth year. That's a 4,000 that we're having there. A deposit. So I want us to properly rearrange the years that we have in between this period because the first three years you'll be working with what 14 percent then you were supposed to just work out this one as it is which is fine but the method that i explained before i said we can work it stage by stage so if you're working with a stage by stage you must separate in between these two years from t3 that is, we have got a year there. Here, there's another year. So there are two years. In between here, there are two years. Before a deposit was made, there are two years that we're having here. So any year will be two. All right, year N was what? Year N was three. For these three has no effect. There is a what? A deposit. So it separates to say, after this deposit on the fifth year, how many years are remaining? We are talking about one, two, the sixth year and the seventh year. So there is a remaining part after that deposit. The money was allowed to increase for the remaining two years. So our section is now subdivided like this. Meaning to say, remember, this is a compound, guys. Amount is equal to P into 1 plus what? I to the exponent of N. Where there is a compounding, divide, multiply. So this is what we have. Amount at the end, the one that we asked, the future value is going to be what? Our principal, 5,500. So we started with? 5,500, uh, that's our principal. So like I said, you analyze, okay? So it increased, right? It is increasing for many years, three years. That's an increase, compound interest. One plus the interest rate, 14%, which is uh, 0, 0,14 if you divide by 100. Over what? The compounding for the first three years, remember it is semi-annually, that's a two there. Okay, so that's to the exponent of the number of years for these. That's three years 
times our compounding, which is what? Which is 2. So we talk about the 3 years. There is no withdrawal at the end of the third year. Take note there. There take note. There is no withdrawal at the end of the third year. There is no withdrawal here. But what happened was the change of the interest rate. So the money was allowed to increase for two years with a certain interest rate. Remember what I said before? When there is an increase uh, or whatever change in terms of the uh, interest rate, you just multiply to the compounding of that interest rate for the period that you are given. Direct as it is. So there you are just going to multiply. As it is the compounding for what? For the two years before a deposit was made. So we have got a compounding for the two years. One plus. It is now at what? For these two years. Once you are after the, th the third year, the interest is now at 12%. So that's uh, 0, 0,12 over the compounding uh, this was compounded annually so over 12 to the exponent of what how many years are we talking about two years so that's two years times our compounding of what of 12 this is what happened the money after three years had to increase for these two years with a certain interest rate then what happened at the end of the fifth year, that's where five years later, at the end of the fifth year, there was a deposit which was made. Remember, a deposit we add. So we are going to add 4,000. But remember, guys, what I said. Once you have a deposit or a withdrawal from this part that we had on our previous class, you combine to what you have added. You add something. You combine that part to from where you started. Once you add something, you add, you combine it. Whatever that you're going to add or subtract, you combine from where you started, from where you started here. You combine. There is a withdrawal. There is a deposit. You combine. In our case, there is what? A deposit. So it is added to everything that you had. So that is why we must put this to say it is a. It is now a single value. This thing that you are seeing here, this as it is now, it is now referred to as a single value. So what does it mean? We are going now to increase it. This value, it is now our principal. For what? For the rest of the years, which is for these two years that are remaining. So you take it as your principal so what you just did is to compound it for the rest of the years that are remaining which is for these two years that's one plus uh the interest rate remember for these two years it is still under that 12 percent after the after the the interest was was now at 12 percent not changing so that's uh, 0 0.12 over our compounding remember that's our compounding 12 monthly uh, times the number of years for that period that this money that we have combined is increasing. It is increasing for how many years? For two years, the remaining number of years times our compounding. That's it. Just like that. So you can answer these questions in that way. There are so many ways of attempting. Do not worry, guys. You can choose other ways. But this one, when you are working it stage by stage, you are not combining uh, everything but you work it by stage by stage what happened from this stage what happened other stage so the first three years the other two years that are awake uh, that we are having there then the remaining two years we have combined everything is there we have combined it so it is you and your calculator now all right so on our calculator uh, this is what we are going to have. Uh, that's 5,000. So we must open this bracket first as it is open bracket 5,500. All right. Open bracket uh, 1 plus uh, 0, 0,14 over what? Over 2. Uh, that's to the exponent of 6. 3 times 2, which is 6. All right times that's just gonna times open bracket one plus uh 
uh, you have a fraction there 0, 0,12 over 12. Uh, that's to the exponent of uh, 2 times 12, which is 24. Okay, let's add our deposit. There is a deposit there, 4,000. Add 4,000. You close that bracket. Okay, then times the compounding that we are seeing at the end, 1 plus, as it is on your display here, uh, 1, 2. All right, that's uh, 1, 2 over what? Over 12. Okay, to the exponent of... Uh, 2 times 12, that's uh, 4. Exponent of 4. Let me let me just see. Let's think, okay. 4,000. Uh, this was 2 times. This is 2 times 12. Why am I writing 12? 2 times 12, that is 24 here. All right. I was like, where am I getting this value? All right. So this is it. So this is it to two decimal places. Uh, we are going to have uh, 18,000. Uh, this is 18,386,28. That is to two decimal places, all right? Just like that. That is it to two decimal places. So questions can be given in this manner. Just have to work out as many questions as you can. Try to figure out. Figure out. The figure out here. Once you separate it properly, you can attempt any, any question. So if there is any question that you are trying to attempt that you do not understand on this uh, financial mathematics, let us communicate. That is the purpose of the comment section so that we can communicate. Uh, let's work out these questions together, uh, revise our problems before our examination. So that's it, guys, till we meet again.